Hi, I'm Miss Mikey from the Niles Main District Library, and this is how to make no bake chocolate peanut butter bars. So I've already done mise en place, which is have all my ingredients measured out and ready to go. And I have my dish that I'm going to make the bars in lined with parchment paper. There is a list of ingredients in the description for the video, and you can do any substitutions that you want to. Um, if you want to use an almond butter or another kind of sunflower butter for the peanut butter, you can use margarine instead of butter, uh, cookies instead of graham crackers. Any kind of substitutions are fine. The measurements are going to stay the same. And the only real tool that we need or appliance, I should say, is a microwave. Um, I did use a little food processor blender to grind up my graham crackers, but you can even crunch them up in a plastic sandwich bag if you want to. So you really only need something to melt your butter and your chocolate chips. So if you have all your ingredients ready to go, let's start. I have one cup of butter and one cup of peanut butter in the same dish and I'm going to blend them. I'm going to melt them together so that they mix up and blend a little easier. I'm starting with just one minute in the microwave and I'm keeping an eye on it so that it doesn't overheat and splatter and make a huge mess. Again, if you have a more powerful microwave at home, you might want to start with 30 seconds. And if you have a lower wattage microwave, it might take a little longer to heat things. Oh, it's melting nicely. I'm going to stop it a little early. Yeah, because I can see it. Whoops. It's pretty melted. So, I am going to start with my two cups of crushed up graham crackers. And then I'm going to pour in my melted butter, one cup of butter, and one cup of peanut butter. And that's all nice and melty, so it comes out of the container a lot easier, too. It's tricky measuring out peanut butter because it sticks to everything. So another benefit of heating it up in the microwave with the butter. And we're going to stir that up real good. Then I also have two cups of powdered sugar. And I'm going to add this in a little bit at a time because powdered sugar is pretty messy. If you have little ones at home helping, you might want to have uh, the grown ups start incorporating the powdered sugar and when it's all kind of blended in then you can have uh, your little helpers mix it up some more but uh, if you don't want a kitchen full of powdered sugar you might want to get get that started yourself so we're gonna mix it all up Smells good. Very peanut buttery. Whoops, and there's some of that powdered sugar I was talking about. Popping out the top of the bowl. 
And then as you start to add more powdered sugar, it gets thicker and a little harder to mix up. it's all nice and incorporated. And it's getting to be really thick like dough. together, I'm going to put it in my baking dish. And again, you don't have to use parchment paper. You can use a little butter flour, uh, tin foil, anything to make them slide out a little easier so that you can cut them up later. Now I'm going to spread out the dough for our crumb base. I'm going to try and make sure I get it in the corners first. It's one of the little trickier things to do with parchment paper. wants to slide around a lot, but it makes it a lot easier when it's cleanup time. And of course, I always encourage little cooks to taste as you cook. So they can help themselves to the bowl and the spatula when you're all done. We're going to need the spatula for the chocolate topping though, so don't pass off that spatula just yet unless you got a spare. All right, now that our crumb, our peanut butter crumb crust is spread pretty evenly in our baking dish. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. Get it in there. All right, we're gonna make the chocolate top. And that is all measured out as well. I have a cup and a half of chocolate chips and about a quarter cup of peanut butter and I'm going to melt them together in the microwave. Again, you can use any kind of chips. These are semi-sweet chocolate chips and they're actually a dairy-free chocolate. And again, you can substitute almond butter, sun butter. Same thing, I'm going to cut these in the micro. I'm doing a minute and a half this time. I melt a lot of chocolate in the microwave, so I know that for um, my wattage and that amount of chocolate chips, I can do a minute and a half. And then you also want to try to clean a little bit as you go along so that it's not a big job at the end. Dirty dishes in the sink. Big peek on my chocolate. Gave my spatula a quick rinse, so that's ready. And 
to give my whisk a little rinse too. Let's see how that chocolate's doing. I'm going to step it a little early. It's looking pretty melty. You don't have to wait until all the chips are perfectly melted. As soon as you start to see along the sides of the bowl that they're starting to melt, you can start to mix them and they'll finish melting. And then you just mix till they're all nice and smooth. No lumpy chips, they're all melted and mixed together with the peanut butter. Ooh, that looks great. All right, then we just pour it right on top of there. Switch to my spatula so I can get all this melted chocolate and peanut butter out. Mmm, that smells good. This is lots of fun for a little helper to clean up. And then just smooth the chocolate over your peanut butter or graham cracker base. Spread nice and easy. Again, try to get it even, but it doesn't have to be perfect. It will taste good either way, I promise you. All right. And we're going to pop it in the fridge for an hour and a half. And that's it. I hope you enjoy your chocolate peanut butter bars. And please feel free to email us a picture of you enjoying your masterpiece. You can email your pictures to youth at nileslibrary.org and we might put your picture up on our social media. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.